Hello everyone! Welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 103 of Mountain Blade a Banner Lord. So in the last episode, we just took over uh, the Sturgeon lands, and then uh, as after we pacified or we settled down, and I was just going to go out to do our business again, you know, about making money. Uh, what happened was that the Southern Empire declared war on, or rather the Crusades declared war on the Southern Empire. And so the Southern Empire, so right now they are fighting both the Volandians and the, uh, oh, I should check also. They're fighting both against the Volandians and the Southern Empire. And I think Southern Empire is fighting against the Crusades. And then the Valandians, I think, are fighting against the Asurai and the Crusades. Okay, so this, and then suddenly, uh, while we were, I was thinking that I was just coming onto the Batanian lands because Batanian and the uh, uh, Valandian lands or towns carry the most income. Then I got word that Balgard has rebelled. So this is. A, a great opportunity for us to come and take it now once we take that the only the gateway we will be shutting down the gateway we can take of castle next so I think we want to get back there ASAP uh, let's t let's find out what Gonka has uh, let's go talk to Gonka uh, Gonka is here No, we want to come here. I think he might have... Because we just dropped off, or maybe we can just go to uh, Barcheg. Hold on, let us find out... Uh, let's find out how much... Uh, what is our inventory like in terms of uh, food? Because uh, we will be... We will be sieging it, and they they will, oh, okay. We have five hundred and three hundred. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we can go talk to Gonka, and he might have more troops that we can actually use. Or should we go to Varcheg? I think we left. I think let's come to Varcheg because uh, we left uh, four. I think we left the Valandian knights and. Unquido Asura has decided to make peace with the Batanians. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Varcheg, pick up. Okay, let's go to the dungeon. Manage the prisoners, I think. Yeah, one of them wants to join us. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> and then we will send everybody back. Right? Because we don't want to be carrying any prisoners. And then let's go to the... No, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, this... Oh, that's Cranenrog Castle. Jeez, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. That's... Uh, okay, I, I'm getting confused here. Okay, let's go to the dungeon. I was. I thought we went to uh, Varcheg. That's Cranenrog. No, that's... Let's get everybody out again. Done. I'm trying to get to Varcheg. Jeez. Okay, uh... Or should we head straight for Omor? Anyway, we have it saved, so if... I hope we... yeah, we are not slowing down too much. I hope the... Uh, the Crusades do not respond too quickly. Although this is, uh, they're very strong here because they've got uh, 
Varno Vapol and Severe, Severe, and Tial. Okay, we're in Varchek. Okay, cool. Let's go to the keep. Let's go to the dungeon. Let's manage the prisoners. Volandian footman. Uh, let's put dump everybody in there. Right, okay. And then let's go to the garrison. And we can dump the footman, the highborn that we just picked up. And then let's pick up the Where are the uh, Valandian Knights? No, 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 not the Valandian Knights. Um, Valandian, uh, let's get the Cataphract, or the Valandian Champions. Let's get the Cataphracts. Let's not work with the Drusnik, let's just work on specializing on <coughs> 455 Wow, we are at 455 now That's pretty cool No, 54, 55 55, I don't know how to count Okay 455 And uh, What is our speed? Let's look at our speed Is there anything Slowing us down? Cargo capacity Yep. Oh, snow. Okay, minus 31. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and who leveled up? Oh, who got a... I mean, who got a perk? Somebody got a perk? That's... Uh, yeah, I still haven't researched on a roguery. Uh, I don't know what we want there. What I want to be is that we are at our best, meaning, because again, I think we might be uh, under, uh, un, you know, undermanned. I, I th again, we will be. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, Garin. Oh, because of uh, this is this came from all of those uh, fighting in the arena. Uh, plus two damage with pole arms on foot. No, with with pole arms while mounted. Who else has a uh, perk? Okay. Oh, that's us. Oh, no, no. That's okay. That's us. Okay. And I think uh, we want to grow our athletics. Wow, we are not growing our athletics. Because I wasn't studying the perks, but this final perk here, uh, personal, is we get 1 plus 1 hit points for every skill point above 250. So if we can grow this to 330, can you imagine? We would be like 80 hit points more. We'll be monsters on the battlefield. And I think uh, we want all of our companions to be monsters. <laughs> we'll just go wade in and, uh, you know, we don't even need anybody else. Okay, so we're 455. Let's go straight full ball guard. I hope we can get there in time. Or do we cross over over here? Hopefully, if the garrison is big enough, or Ulbos has declared war on the, does it make peace with the Kuzates? Oh, no, no, no! Let's get there before the Kuzates get their act together. Jeez. Okay, they are, the Kuzates are already responding. Quick, guys, quick. Wow, 
Where are we? Wow, we are so far away. Maybe next time we should go st straight for it before... This is the second time they have rebelled. I think we can take it with our current strength, even if we do not did not go back to uh, Varcheg to get reinforcements, because we were already at 401, right? That, that was needless. So, yeah, if things didn't work, don't work out. We'll go and. Uh, What's this? Oh, that's a caravan. Okay. <clears throat> mm. So this Gazukan was the guy who took, uh, who, who captured one of the uh, lords. Oh, that's the other lord right here. Can we get to him? No, don't enter the fort. No, don't go in. Jeez. Okay, he went in. And so the security is 109. Okay. Uh, so there are 509. Uh, okay, let us save it here. So that we can be sure that... Uh, let's save it to 7. So that we can be sure that what uh, we can gain the aggro by either molesting or threatening to uh, <coughs> mutilate the settlement or the village or uh, hopefully another lord comes out. Who's this other guy? Oh, those are the villagers. Oh. And where's the entry point there? Okay. Let's position ourselves right here. And once we see a mass, oh, that's the other guy, right? Okay, let's wait. For, let's just wait right here. And then we can have uh, time go by. Okay, stop. Okay, now let's take this guy. Okay. <clears throat> I, I don't think. <laughs> I'm here to deliver my demand. Okay, okay, we got one of the lords. Attack. <laughs> okay, we'll take we'll pick up another cast uh town. So our soldier strength will now be at four sixty once we take this. Again, don't count our chickens too early. <laughs> And then hopefully, uh, no, they have made peace with the uh, Volandians, but they have not made peace with the. Uh, no, 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 no. Caramel! Yeah, wow, they positioned us so far back that we were considered out of bounds. I see them. Okay. 
they're there. Again, I think we better protect ourselves uh, rather than getting shot in the face. Just come from behind. Oh, they're going for high ground, huh? Okay, we got one guy. Very maneuverable. Jeez, oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm totally embarrassed. Oh no, too late. Got to him before us. Any stragglers trying to run away? Where are, they, where are those guys going? Can't even hit the horse. Can you imagine? As they said, uh, uh, I cannot hit the side of the barn. That's a big horse, and I can't hit it. Really embarrassing. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, wow, one injury. Okay. Three renown. Done. And then well, face us will get a lot of training again. Okay. Uh, you know, in, when we were setting up the game, uh, one of the boxes I ticked off was that to allow births and deaths and I think that I will reg we, I will regret that because it'll come bite us in the butt later on because they I think once they hit about 50 or something the likelihood of death becomes very high and that's the reason why in uh, in our surgery in our surgeon there were two perks that allow us to escape death uh, one time only. So I don't know if it applies to our companions or it, if that applies only to the to the surgeon. So uh, I anyway, we'll find out. I think in our first play, uh, first gameplay, I pick, I tick that off so that there are no births or deaths. And it turned out we continue to have births. And people die off once they are in their light in the 70s or 80s. If this now that we've gotten that guy. So now that we've gotten aggro. So uh, like remember we married our wife was from the Empress uh, Rage side and uh, our grandchildren had matured already in that gameplay and yet Rage was still alive and she was like in her 70s. In this gameplay, Rage is like uh, died at like about 50s or something and so not good, not good. So that suddenly it occurred to me that I might have made a bad call When uh, when I when I did not tick off that box, I should have ticked it off. Okay, we are going for the trebuchet. No, 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 trebuchet. Tre Jeez. Okay, almost. I almost tick on the wrong one. Oh, we can still build the uh, the f the the fire onagers. That's fine. And we can sit here and thumb our nose at the crusade. Once, once they come to try to take this over. Oh, we're evenly matched. They're 432. We are at 
Ah, 455. That's fine. And then let us check who got another perk. I think it's from the uh, riding that we just encountered. Can't be us. That's got to be somebody else. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. Uh, party vice plus five militia recruitment is almost plus plus one. That's that's guaranteed. That's it's like that is no question. Whether it's party leader or says governor. Uh okay. Oh, there's still somebody else. <clears throat> Can't be us, can it? Face us, uh, yeah, we he, he's maxed out here right now. Okay. What's the other tick? That must be us then. Yeah, that's us. Okay. <clears throat> No, let's get rid of this box. It's too big. At least there should be... No, uh, we built the siege camp. We are not in any danger from anyone. <clears throat> That's the nice thing about rebel camps. <laughs> we don't have to worry about... What was that? What was that fighting there? Ouch! What was I? What am I doing? Jeez. Okay. Uh, ow, ow, ow. Jeez, what was I doing? Yeah, a loss of uh, uh, inattentiveness and uh, they cratered our trebuchet. Okay, put it in reserves. Jeez, what am I doing? Getting too happy too early. Okay. You know what? Let's build the onager here. Build an onager here, fire onagers. So we can just slap them in. We have all the time in the world, so. What? Oh, okay, yeah, we, we just stored that one. So the Sturgeons came in and they late to the party. I think they're also, uh, they sure would li love to get this thing. into reserves. Ouch. I should have... I should have just uh, paused it and f uh, read the notifications. Ow. 
Ouch. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's keep this. And there's wow, this one yeah, I think that trebuchet is very much damaged. Look at that, it's half health. Wow, less than half. Okay, and then we will save this. Let's save this. Yeah, just uh, a few seconds of inattention and uh, our onagers is getting clobbered. Okay, um, uh, yeah, let's get this out of the way. Uh, ouch. Okay, uh, there goes our timer, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye!